So just to summarize, you will use radio profiles to configure each of the individual radios on the access points, and you will use AP device templates to be able to tie in those radio profiles to individual devices, groups of devices, um, and you'll be using different assignment rules based on location or cloud config groups uh, to, up, to apply those rules. The, um, the way you can apply radio profiles, you can also override a radio profile by going to an individual device and tie in that radio profile in there. You can then also select a group of individual devices from the monitor view of Extreme Cloud IQ and override the radio profiles there. And then you can use device templates in the network policy and you can dynamically assign device templates based on device location. So maybe you want to use a different device template for all the APs in London and a different one for all the APs in New York. Or you want to use a custom rule that does, that's not necessarily location specific. For example, you would have a group of devices called warehouse and a different set of radio profiles there because a warehouse needs a different, uh, different set of radio settings than an office. You would have another group of devices called office and another group of devices uh, may be called stores. Uh, and each of these would need different radio profiles. For that type of scenarios, you would use something called cloud config groups to implement custom rules as to when and how to apply radio profiles to devices. Uh, and you will also notice that each device type will have its own uh, device AP template rules and radio profile assignment rules. So this creates an environment that's very flexible and gives you a lot of different ways of how you can do radio profile assignment. And it always goes back to the story of having one network policy to control your whole network, regardless of whether it's one building, one campus, or if it's a globally distributed uh, network of a global enterprise or a global company. So it's all, it all goes back to one network policy, thousands of devices, and then you use uh, assignment rules uh, depending on either location or something completely custom with cloud config groups to configure exceptions or specific options wherever they need to be. So device templates, radio profiles, assignment rules, and cloud config groups, the combination of these along with user profiles really gives you an infinite amount of combinations of how to configure a network and really you have all the flexibility to do uh, whatever you need to do for your business when it comes to configuring your wireless network. So let's go to device templates and add a new AP device template. Uh, the device template needs to be added for each device type that's going to be supported by this network policy and the reason for that is the ports may be different between different devices. So what we'll do is we'll select AP12, which is the one we have in the lab, call it custom template. And then what we do is in the template itself, we assign radio profiles. So we're just doing the same settings we just did on the individual AP. And this is also the place where we would, we would be enabling mesh or uh, client access or sensor mode of the AP. So let's just save the template. Okay. And what happens now is by default, each device type will have a default template. But what if we want to apply the uh, AP wanted to template based on different locations? Well, we just simply add another one. So we had another AP122 template, call it custom location. We'll keep it as it is. And then we can assign a classification rule and say, okay, if this access point is on floor one of our building, in Farnham. So if, if the dead device is in this location, then assign this device template. Otherwise, assign the other one. And location is just one of the options for um, rule assignment. The other one could be cloud config groups, which is something we'll test in uh, one of the next labs. So this is how you can create custom uh, assignment rules for 
uh, uh, AP device templates, which in turn assign radio profiles depending on where that device is. And this, um, together with cloud config groups, is a very, very powerful tool for customizing your network. Okay, let's save this and deploy it to the AP. And we are done.